I'm Robert Bruce Thompson and this is a special segment of the Home Scientist video series to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers. When I started this channel six months ago, even 100 subscribers seemed an ambitious goal and 1,000 subscribers seemed impossibly distant. Thanks to Nerd Rage promoting this channel in a Sub for Science video, I quickly passed 1,000 subs and have continued to add subs ever since. The only thing Nerd Rage asked in return for promoting my channel was that I do the same to promote other good channels. So here's my own Sub for Science video. There are many good home science channels out there, so with three exceptions, I decided to focus on channels that haven't reached critical mass yet. Most of them have anything from under 100 to maybe 1,500 subscribers, and all of them deserve more. Please watch the whole video. There are some real gems in here, and you'll probably want to subscribe to at least a few of them. Let's start with three channels that already have at least several thousand subscribers each, but should have many more than they do. First up is Nerd Rage, who started the Sub for Science initiative and is one of the most popular do-it-yourself science channels on YouTube. Nerd Rage has posted nearly 90 videos on subjects ranging from synthesizing nitric acid to freezing anatomical specimens with liquid nitrogen to making a 100-foot glow stick. Many Nerd Rage projects use difficult to find materials or are quite expensive to reproduce, so these demonstrations may be your only chance to see these reactions. If you subscribe to my channel, you're probably already subscribed to Nerd Rage. If not, pause this video right now, right click on Nerd Rage in the sidebar, open a new tab, and go over there and subscribe. You will not be disappointed. In fact, that goes for all of these channels. Next we have BioNerd23, a young German woman who is fascinated with all things radioactive. She has posted 150 videos, which she narrates in fluent English, about various aspects of ionizing radiation. Her experiments range from testing herself after she received a radioactive tracer in a medical procedure, to testing rocks and other common items, to working with antique radiation survey meters, to exposing houseplants to different types and levels of radiation to determine the effect on growth. If you have any interest at all in radioactivity and radiation, BioNerd23 is the channel for you. The third of the larger channels is the Geek Group. The Geek Group's goal is to bring hands-on science and technology to people of all ages by providing the facilities and other resources they need to actively explore and do science on their own. To that end, the Geek Group provides physical facilities at their Michigan Center, but they also provide virtual facilities and other resources to do-it-yourself scientists in all 50 states and dozens of other countries. They have some serious equipment and produce professional quality videos on everything from soldering basics to vaporizing items with a huge capacitor bank to doing autopsies on notebooks and other tech toys. Any home scientist or tinkerer will find lots to like here. The Geek Group does a lot for science outreach, so in addition to subscribing to their YouTube channel, you should also visit their main website www.thegeekgroup.org and support them by joining and donating if you can. Okay, on to some of the smaller channels. DBC 616, aka the Glad Scientists, are high school students who study chemistry independently. They focus on in-depth variations on classic experiments and make excellent use of diagrams, charts, and other visual aids. Their eclectic series of videos range from how to bend glass tubing or build a homemade stirrer to running an iodine clock reaction. Quantum Wasteland focuses on organic chemistry and the chemistry of rare metals. He features experiments you'll seldom see elsewhere, from synthesizing zirconium compounds to making chlorouric acid to producing inks with gold and platinum to producing oxalic acid from antifreeze. He's posted 16 videos so far and is adding videos at the rate of one or two a month. Sieve B1, and I apologize if I mispronounced the name, is run by Julia Bettle and Brad Sieve, who teach chemistry at Northern Kentucky University. Their project started as a catalog of chemistry demonstrations for them to use in their own classes, but has become an excellent resource for other high school and college chemistry teachers. They've already posted nearly 60 chemistry demonstration videos, and they post new videos every couple of weeks.
Make sure to visit their NKU website and blog, which provides more details about the experiments performed in the videos, including instructions and concepts lists. Alchemical Garden is a British University student who does some very interesting and unusual syntheses. For example, I think I vaguely knew that the trichromate species existed, but I assumed it existed only as solvated ions and couldn't be isolated. Until, that is, I watched Alchemical Garden synthesize and isolate potassium trichromate crystals, starting from common lab chemicals. He's posted more than 30 videos so far, but is posting less frequently recently because of work and school commitments. As he says, ironically, his lab is at his home and his university is at, well, his university. Still, it's well worth watching his current videos, and I look forward to each new one. H.K. Parker is Hayden Parker, a 17-year-old high school student who's pursuing chemistry independently at home. His focus is on syntheses, including relatively uncommon compounds like potassium periodate and iodine monochloride, and reproducing various interesting reactions. He's posted 14 videos so far and is currently adding videos at the rate of two or three a month. Presumably that'll slow down a bit once the school year starts. Hayden's channel is called Backyard Chemistry and he means that literally. He does most of his work outdoors. Mr. Home Scientist has posted only seven videos so far, but it's a channel worth keeping an eye on. Dan has just bought his first house, so making videos is obviously a low priority until he gets moved in and settled. Once that happens, he expects to be producing new videos more often. Dan is a civilian physicist for the Navy and pursues chemistry as a hobby. He got started in chemistry as a way to expand his element collection, using thermite reactions to isolate various metals. His focus has now shifted to doing unusual experiments in inorganic chemistry with the goal of encouraging others to pursue hands-on do-it-yourself chemistry. Reaction Factory is a pair of self-described chemistry nerds experimenting in Florida. They created their channel in late March of 2010 and have already posted 19 videos, including some very unusual reactions. Unfortunately, they don't narrate their videos, although they make excellent use of captioning to convey what they're doing. Ordinarily, I wouldn't recommend a channel without narration, but I made an exception for these guys because they do some really interesting stuff. They don't hesitate to work on a large scale, either. Their most recent video involves synthesizing chloroform in a five-gallon bucket, and in an earlier video they produced about 10 grams of the high-explosive silver acetylide. Finally, we have two young German men who are both doing interesting things in their home labs. Olympic Fan 2 is a 16-year-old high school student in Hamburg who studies chemistry independently in his home lab. In the last six months, he's posted nearly 40 videos, the earliest of which are narrated in German. NerdRage and I both recommended that Max narrate his videos in English, which he is now doing. He's posted videos of demonstrations and reactions, including some that are quite dangerous, but recently he seems to be focusing mostly on the chemistry of halogens and alkali metals. Chaos Chemiker is a 20-year-old student from Grosenheim who pursues chemistry independently in his home lab. Like all of the other channels I've featured, he strives for originality rather than making Me Too videos. For example, there are videos all over YouTube about making silver mirrors, but one of his videos demonstrates how to make a copper mirror using copper II sulfate and hydrazine. His early videos are captioned rather than narrated, but his recent videos are narrated in English. If I promoted your channel in this video, all I ask is that you post your own Sub for Science video when you're ready. If I didn't promote your channel and you think I should in my next Sub for Science video, here are some things that will help your channel make the cut. First, I need at least half a dozen videos to judge quality. Second, regular activity, say at least one video a month. I won't promote a dead channel. Third, reasonable length and substance. Don't bother to submit a channel that has a bunch of really short, trivial videos. Fourth, originality and real science. I won't promote a channel with videos that are just me too copies of topics that have already been done to death. Finally, English narration. Most of my subscribers are English speakers who won't subscribe to non-English channels. So, if you think your channel is as good or better than some of the channels I've just featured, send me your best video.